The dawn of the first light was followed thereafter by the second darkness. I got in from, because I could beat box. That's the only way. I was harangued at the involvement fair. I joined with Ray, my boy. Jenny Graham was the founder of First Light. She was a graduate student from Wellesley University. Jenny Graham spoke to InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, which we were part of, about wanting to start up a Christian a cappella group. You know, I thought, sure, why not? You raised me up forever. It was something in the water. Something in the water by Carrie Underwood. The Answer by Shane and Shane. And can it be? And can it be? Rumor has it. Hosanna. Hosanna by Hillsong. Capano Green's Emmanuel. It's Counting Stars. I Can Only Imagine by Mercy Me. Um, Dare You to Move. Run to You by Pentatonix. Wide Awake by Katy Perry. Falling from cloud night. God used First Light to help me learn how to really appreciate the words in a song. It was more than just singing. It really was a family to me, right? First Light is a family and it's a community. It gave me a community. It's a community of faith. Not just the people that were in it, but the people that supported us. A group of people that were from completely different backgrounds. But what brought us together and tied us together was not just the music, but our common faith. I think I was able to find myself in terms of my spiritual identity. I think I was able to get a lot of encouragement from some of the mentors in First Light. Even though music is a performance-based art, and being good at music required perfection to an, ex an extent, you will never, ever be perfect at, at any point. And there, ha there had to be room for grace for that. And I think First Light was where I learned that. Yeah, First Light was... was it was Gucci. It was good. <laughs> it was Gucci. Even though I wasn't initially a person who um, liked to sing at first, um, I was surrounded by so many people who did love to sing. At first I was a little bit insecure about all this, uh, but over time, through their love of singing and just their overwhelming love for God through that singing, uh, I was able to learn how to sing and really be a part of it. It was a really good um, place to find an intimate community. Like you spend like three hours um, for practice and then you spend sectionals with, with the, um, the members and you really start to get to know them on an intimate level through conflict and through good times and everything. And I still talk to like all of them today and you know, even the ones who graduated like come back and say hi before they leave for Wisconsin or something. Um, so yeah. My sophomore year, it was the first year that I had any sort of like leadership position in general like at Rutgers. And so like I'll always remember First Light as being like giving me an opportunity to like really step out of my comfort zone and like kind of grow as a leader. I think First Light produced a lot of fruit, a lot of key people, a lot of passions that were born out of First Light uh, who were used to be just the leaders. And so I think First Light has a great legacy. I, I tend to err on the side of like self-reliance and repeatedly I was shown that I can't rely on myself. None of our concerts have we ever felt like even 75% prepared. <laughs> like he's shown us grace every single time. The church is called not to be an organizational body, but to be believers who are sharing their lives together and then who are telling others about Jesus who makes our hearts beat. And that's really what First Light became. Well, first of all, we want to make sure that everyone knows that it is the first a cappella group at Rutgers University. There were no other a cappella groups at the time that First Light came around. Even though you're practicing for hours at a time, just being together, the atmosphere, everyone really turns into a family and the traditions that come from every generation of First Light, they only continue and they only get better. I want people to know that First Light is a loving community full of individuals and people coming from different walks of life and people who I think Otherwise, if not for the mutual love of God, probably might not necessarily come together. But I think it's such a great magnifying glass into what Christianity can look like, what true community can look like. It's not just 
a singing group when we get together you know for practices that there's so much more than just that that you know we're actually building relationships with people and building relationships with God and we're hoping to sing for a greater and better purpose. First slide is music geeks for Jesus or the other way around Jesus freaks for music. Wait that didn't sound right. Like first light is just like a lot of work and it's a lot of commitment and at points like you might wonder if it's like all worth it but I think it is all worth it. First light struggles to survive. When I joined first light it literally was down to three people and that seems and it seemed like at the time that every year it only survived because there was a couple handful of people that were willing to carry the mantle and do all the work. If anything, like uh, God just shows that if you are faithful, then um, He'll be there with you and uh, He'll carry you through. A cappella is really hard. Sometimes I, I fear that people hear us and they're like, "Like, wow, they're so they're so bad," <laughs> and they think we're just a bunch of lazy people. But a cappella is really hard. Like, you can practice a lot and still sound terrible. So <laughs> we didn't just pray for each other and the members of the group, but we also pray for you guys that are watching and that attended the concerts, hoping that you guys will be blessed and that you guys will enjoy the fruits of uh, our labor and you know the God-given talents that He uh, gave to us. We did an OK Go um, boy shine time. So one of the shine times we did, and you might have seen it, is we did like epic meal time. What they used to do was a um, a fast food lasagna and we made it and created it and it was a lot of calories, there was a lot of bacon, there was a lot of fast food and several people threw up afterwards. There was an intro video. We had a brother dress up as a gorilla and he chased down basically all the members of First Light uh, incognito. Whenever like we went to Ray's house to hang out was like fun. Enoch was like so funny. <laughs> Enoch I guess? Because everyone would like make jokes about him. Because Enoch was quite the character. Probably Bidby. Break it down, Boston. Break it down, Boston. Break it down, Boston. The annual conference where Christian a cappella groups gather together from all across the nation. The Break it down, Boston's meeting other a cappella groups and um, <laughs> seeing other people beatbox <laughs> and realizing how weird that thing, how weird it is to beatbox. Uh, Bid Beat 2016, and so we were preparing a song for Bid Beat, I Will Get There by Boys to Men. It just wasn't clicking with the group as a song. So we go on stage for the dress rehearsal, and suddenly everything clicked into place. That to me is the beauty of First Light, where music and spirit can come together and to produce something wonderful. Uh, so it also relates to Bid Beat, and we totally like missed the bus to Boston. Like everyone was really, really forgiving, and somehow God was like, "Oh, you guys, here, you can just get on the next one, and everything was okay." <laughs> and Jenny Graham had a keyboard, so she would record voice parts for us on cassette tapes, and then we get our cassette tape with our voice part to practice on our own. The first concert was fun. It was at St. John the Evangelist Church. If we had. 30 people, we had a lot in the audience that time, and our concert lasted about 15 minutes. We sang through our repertoire, and we were done. And then we kind of looked around like, wow, that sure went faster than we thought it would. Afterwards, we um, went to the fellowship hall of the church and sang it all again. <laughs> carrying Helen Kwok on a mattress while she was sleeping across the room without her waking up. During Hurricane Sandy, all the first lighters were together at my one friend's dorm. We just pulled out sleeping bags and we just, you know, hung out. We, you know, took care of each other and then we had to talk to each other and then we really got to know each other. We had pillow fights. At one point there was a Nerf gun and we were firing at each other. We were together for about a, like a couple days. It felt like a week. And we really just bonded. One of the things that are su that surprising to us is that seeds we sowed 25 years ago are still producing fruit. I'm so glad that First Light is um, 
keeping on going and that you're, you're celebrating the 25 years uh, of things that God has done. We were happy when it was four years. We were happy when it was five years. And so this is just a beautiful, a beautiful moment in time. Even though students are changing, like his love for Rutgers hasn't changed. His wow. love for Rutgers students hasn't changed. It really is a powerful kind of testimony to be able to consider 25 years of first light. All right, I hope, I hope most of these garbage is edited out. Um, just me being awkward.